Hey, this is Glennon Cameron once again with day seven of the power of six. What we're going to discuss today is creating processes. You will need a very open mind in 10 to 18 minutes per day. Life is what you make it. Part of creating a new process is learning how to manage what may seem to be inconsequential things. Let's take the power of six. The first week, two, three tasks. Not a lot of stress. One of the deals with lifting weights, and I should tell you, strength is a function of the neural system. That's why you can see someone who's maybe 150 pounds, 170 pounds, move 400, 500, or even 600 pounds because they have made their nervous system extremely efficient. So thinking about that, with the power of six, you make your process of doing things very efficient. But like lifting weights, this is not something that happens overnight. It's conditioning yourself to do the process like conditioning, like a weightlifter would condition himself to lift a weight. Because following these principles that I'm giving you in the power of six, because I use them in other parts of my life, and I pull much of what I'm learning and finding to be very effective from lifting weights. There's uh, power days and backload days, and you'll experience that. But by following these principles of consistency, I am squatting, deadlifting, overhead pressing more weight than I've ever done in my life by following these systems. And it happened in a relatively short period of time, roughly 18 months. I know it's like 18 months, but I've lifted weights a long time. And this new program and the, it's just science. And that's what the power of six is. Cause it doesn't seem like, well, you know, I'm not really doing a lot. You are doing an amazing thing by creating a new habit. The process of change. I want you to think of your life as an intricate set of processes. Your body is just that and so is your brain. You have your nervous system, your cardiovascular system, your, your, your digestive system, your breathing system. All of these systems work independently yet together because you need all of them to stay alive. That's what this is doing is creating a new set of processes for you to do stuff. And one of the things that I learned from writing is you can have the best intentions in the world about writing a book, but if you don't have an amazing amount of discipline, it won't get done. And to aid in the discipline, if you have a process, because my process is word count. Many writers, oh, I'm, you know, that's too many words. Are you just throwing words in there? But I'm able to get books done. I have friends who've been writing 10, maybe 12 years longer than I have. They don't have as many books as I have. They haven't made as much money as I have because they're not getting books done. They are extremely talented. Amazingly talented. But they don't have discipline. So there's this talent, but they don't have a process. And without the process, the talent cannot be realized over and over again. So once you master the process, you'll see stunning results. This course is about creating a habit, one that will change your life. Because once you get this down, and once again, you don't have to do it seven days a week. If you do this five days a week, consistently out the month, you will see projects done, new goals realized. This is day seven. You'll put four things on your list to be done. Two core things, core being must be done, two should be done things. This exercise is to help you differentiate between absolute task, I need to pay the bills or something bad will happen, to this can wait. And essentially, that is what you're, wor you're working with because you're going to have to manage many different things in your life such as paying bills, you know, working. But by creating this process of getting things done, you will reduce your stress level and improve your efficiency. All right, this is Glendon. I'll see you in the next session.